In this training video, we're going to look at formatting the non-working bars. Now, this can be done by using the time scale area. So this is where we can see the M to an F, which is telling us the working week is Monday to Friday. That's called the bottom tier. And where you can see week segments, this is called the middle tier. Well, if we double click in this gray area, we can activate what's called the time scale area. So we can control non-working time. I'll just cancel this box to show another way you can activate it. You can hover over the gray area, right click, and then you can also choose the time scale. So either, either one works. Now we're gonna affect the non-working. Now what some project controllers like, they like to see the vertical gray bars, which is non-working, in front of the task bars. So then it'll tell them exactly when the taskbar is working. So you can put it in front of the taskbar. What will happen now? For example, this blue task here, which is the send out job packs, will now be split into three parts because the gray bar is going to come in front of it. So you'll see exactly when it's working. So for example, on the Friday, the whole of the next week, and then the following week up until the Friday. So this is what this is going to show. And there's the example. So you can now see any task which is which goes over non-working, which is these grey areas, is now behind the non-working bars. So it gives you a clear indication that send the job packs is now working for the whole week, part of the week, and part of the week in the first week it's working. And the same for other task bars, which go over a weekend. Another example here. So this completes the training video on formatting the non-working bars and putting them in front of task, task bars so you can see when the task bars are working and then they'll split themselves, whereby the, they won't show themselves over the non-working, because now they, they, they're behind the non-working vertical bars. But this completes this training on formatting the non-working bars and putting them in front of the task bars. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like and subscribe to our channel. Hope to see you for the next tutorial and thanks for watching.